like hot i'm not even hot like i i feel cold but i'm not like cold so basically i am cold flex of the day water <sighs> I don't know favorite thing of the day my girlfriend stay mad stay mad that's not directed to people who don't have a girlfriend or lover it's directed to the people who don't like it when I put um, my girlfriend as my favorite thing of the day. It's really a stupid thing um, to like do. I mean, I started doing my favorite thing of the day just because like when I'm done with it, I'll be able to look back at it and I'll see like trends, you know. But really, um, I didn't think they'd all just be about my girlfriend because, you know, I got this when the year started and I had just started talking to her when the year started or like sooner than when the year started, like a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, I didn't think she'd really sweep like she has, but you know. <sighs> well, one thing I'm grateful for I mean, I don't know, like, there's a ton of things that I could, like, say that are different, but, like, none are coming to mind. I don't like to repeat things. <sighs> I'm grateful for competition. Because competition, if you're a competitive person, drives you to be better. I used to never like competition. I was always like too afraid to like try because that's kind of just how I was you know I just like didn't like to be better than people because it's scary to try and then maybe fail you know um even I'd I'd just be like playing video games with my friends and I wouldn't want I'd never won be one or anything like that because to me it would just like be like I'd just be scared um, I say that because I was doing planks today with my girlfriend. You know, we've been doing core and since, you know, like core days sometimes. Well, like she kind of just does it with me. Because um, that's like the only workout I do that's like at home. Right, so like I've been getting her to do it with me. Does she want to? No. Do I want to? No. But like she still does it because, you know, she knows I'm going to do it. <clears throat> so first we like only did planks. But, you know, I, I switched it up for a few weeks. Um, but, you know, there's no, like, core thing that I'm really, like, ever, like, oh my god, I love that. Planks have always just been my thing because they suck, and it's an easy movement, and it's, I don't know, it's just, it's simple, and because they suck so much, why not do them? You know, but today I was doing plank and side plank with her, and... Damn, did she, like, fucking push me. Um, you know, normally I probably wouldn't have lasted that long, um, in the plank and the side plank if I didn't have competition with her. You know, and we have, like, little wagers on it, like, whoever beats the other person. I mean, not trying to brag, but, you know, like, I'm just, like, a better planker, you know. Because I've been planking longer, she doesn't really, like, plank or, or do any of that. But, you know, she's, like, been getting strate strategic about it, like, so... So she let me win the first one, right? I mean, me personally, like, I'm just trying as hard as I can. But, you know, she's trying to win. So, you know, like, the second um, the second set, right? So she definitely didn't work herself as much as she could have. But, you know, I was, like, really messed up, you know, um, after the first set. Not, not, not that that much. But then come the second set, she's like, I'm going to beat you. And I'm like, no, you're not. 
Um, <clears throat> so I win. It was terrible because she held in a little bit. You know, she got a greater time than she did the first time. So I was like, that's some bullshit. You know, but I was like, she didn't beat me. Let's go. But I was like really shaky. Like it was like really bad. Because, you know, I wouldn't have pushed myself that hard unless um, I had a reason to, you know. So, the outside plank time, and she's like, I'm going to beat you. And then I make a bet with her. Like, I'll do whatever you want. You know, that, that's really general. Give me this, that, that, that. I'll do anything you want if you beat me. And I was like, I'm not going to lose. I just beat her in the plank. You know, I did as best I could, and I'm pretty sure she did the best she could. You know, so why would that not be the same for the side plank? This bitch got me side planking for like six minutes and like 20 seconds on one side. And I gave up. I could not. And half the time, my form was like ass, you know, because slowly my ass just like started getting close to the ground. I cheated like a lot. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Um... But then, like, the second time, I was like, she was, okay, so she was like, I won. Um, and, you know, she was happy about it because she won the bet. And I was like, if I win the next one, I, it gets taken back. Because, basically, it's supposed to be, like, the same outcome, you know, because it's a side plank. You're just supposed to do the same thing on both sides. So, like, if I win this one, you know, you know, but I was mainly just trying to shoot for the same time I got last time. It's like, 6 minutes, 20 seconds. So, I'm like, I'm going to hit 7 minutes. I wasn't thinking she was going to. I hit seven minutes and I'm like, bro, fuck this. So, you know, she beat me again. She's like, technically I get two. And I was like, so dead after it. I was like, I'm not even gonna fight it. I only did two sets because Jesus Christ, she like fucking worked me. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Um, I really love her, you know, and there's always, like, something happening with me. You know, like... I, when something starts to become tradition or... Not tradition, but when something starts to become normal in my life... Um, <clears throat> something always happens. Like, in my mind. Like, I can't just allow that that makes sense like I'm really big on self-improvement it's kind of like what I'm made out it's like what I'm founded on you know the me that you see here is because I've tried to prove myself none of what you see here you know like from how I speak I mean some some I guess some of it from how I speak you know how I look um it's because I've addressed that I'm not good enough and I started to improve and you know I've said this before since my girlfriends came along I've never had such a big problem about um, doing that it's always been the sole focus of my life and ever since she's came along um, she's taken some of that focus away, you know, she just really makes me happy and I want my life to revolve around her, but I still have enough, uh, enough dip discipline to do what I know needs to be done. I always get it done. Not always. At the end of the deadline, I get it done. You know, whether that, whether my deadline's a day, whether it's like homework and I, you know, it always gets done. Um, but today, I mean, like, as far as self-improvement and doing what I know needs to get done, it was not good at all. As far as happiness, it was really good. I spent time with my girlfriend. Uh, I said a while ago I was watching Noragami with her. My, like, one of my favorite animes, if not my favorite. And it's been a minute since I watched it, and I'm, like, remembering why I love it so much. So we watched the first season pretty fast. And we already watched like half the second season this morning. There's only two seasons. It's not even done yet. And I said one episode on the first one. And I kept going and I kept going and I kept going. You know, well, we both wanted to. 
but she really wanted to and it made me happy um you know being able to watch it with her you know and there comes a point where she's like can we watch another one and i thought it was a pretty good stopping point and i said sure if you're fine with it cutting into our time later you know, and she's like "Ooh, i don't know about that then you know so we didn't she's like i feel like you're she couldn't think of the word but i knew what she was getting at i said regressing she said yeah or maybe she said i don't want you to regress or something like that and i said i'm not because i know i'm not but You know, I said it in this way just because I'm pretty honest about that, I guess. But, you know, I assured her it's not exactly like that, you know. I said, it's all your fault. And I said, but it's not your fault. It's because of how I am, you know. Um, when I really get into something, like, I gave her an example. Like, if I'm just like, okay, I'm going to talk to her for like five minutes, then it's like, well, five minutes is here, another five wouldn't hurt, and then that keeps going. You know, and yeah, I would have time later in the day. It's definitely time I could afford. But it's not what my brain said. It's not what I knew needed to be done. And I fall into that a lot. And that is my biggest problem. And it's really hard, you know, and like just today, like, I don't feel like, and when I say this, I'm, I don't mean it, but I, I mean it, but I'm not going to, like, let it happen. I, like, don't want to do anything besides talk to my girlfriend. It's not that deep, but, like, she's always on my mind when I'm not with her. I'm always thinking about finishing what I'm doing so I can get back to her. She's always on my mind. And... Honestly, it's almost like a dependence at this point. Do I depend on her to make me happy? Yes. I know I don't need her to live, though. I know that if she were gone, I would move on. But she's just like such a big point in my life. And you know, it's just really conflicting and I know deep down and I know it'll always be deep, deep down that who I am is more important than her. Like it's, it sounds tough to say, but like if you think about it yourself, if you've ever been in a relationship, your significant other might be really important to you. But staying true to who you are is the most important thing of all. You know? Um, I'm never going to let it happen, right? But her, her mentioning regression, you know, just because she knows how much it means to me. Not because she's like, you're getting weak. She's like, I know, she meant it like, I, I know how much it means to you. You know, because it's like who I am. I can't regress. It's only up. And um, her saying that kind of just like got to me in like a good way. Like, what am I doing? You know, and like I know the, so the solution to that. It's this one. It's listening to my inner voice. Um, the one that knows what needs to be done. You know, and I know the more that I work on it, the easier it's going to get. There's going to be less conflict. But I need to listen to that voice more. There's so many times I'm like, I need to go to bed. And I don't. Because 30 minutes wouldn't kill me. She's not tired. You know, like, I'm not going to fall asleep on call with her and be the only one sleeping. Like, that's not what I, you know. Or is it good? not warm and it's not too cold it's perfect but I just
just love her a lot. A few months ago, you know, I was not given some shit, but you know, I'm gonna phrase it like that, you know. I was given some shit because I used the word love. But it was like still pretty early in our relationship. I'll double down. I wanna marry her. Am I going to, like, right now? No. But if you can't see something in the person you're with, then why stay? Is why I say that. Because I love everything about her. And I hope we get to that point. We're not at that point yet. We're not at marriage point. I'm not stupid. All right. Would it be lovely? Would I hate it? No. But it's not responsible. Um, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to right now, but I'm just using that phrasing to show or indicate how much I love her. Like I can, I just want us to be together and I get that same feeling from her that she feels that way too. <clears throat> Balancing is tough. But it'll get better, you know? And I'm just so grateful for her. She's been the only thing I've talked about like all video. It deserves that though. Cause you know, there's been some shaky parts in the past that, you know, she didn't feel at all. That was completely one-sided for me, you know? And someone was like, why don't you talk about any of the good? Or like, why don't you say any good things about her? Cause I live with it every day. You know, to me, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Why would I say it? But when she's around, I like enjoy my time with her so much. There's no one else I'd rather talk to. There's nobody else. If I'm with my friend and my girlfriend like calls me or something, I'm the happiest man in the world. I'm like, hold up. I'm not just like that, but I'm like, let me get out of here. Or at least I'm thinking that. I'm like, let me find a good place to stop. You know, and it's easy to forget how lonely I felt before her. She's made me like so happy, blindingly happy. Um, that it's easy to forget how lonely I felt. But like I was watching a video, one of my older ones. I'm not supposed to, but I did because I was watching it with my girlfriend. And I was like, what I said was apparently my friend said he asked me how i was and i said um lonely my friend said why i said i always feel lonely it's easy to forget and when i can really pinpoint it it's it's hard to because again i have so much to be happy for and grateful now relating to my girlfriend and all that um i was just lonely i wake up lonely you know like i'm improving myself but nobody Knowing nobody, like, fucks with you. Knowing nobody... Here's what it was for me. Everyone I talk to doesn't know anything about me. Like, they know how I, how I am. You know, I'm, like, pretty humorous. You know, I like to joke a lot. You know, I'm pretty energetic, and I just have a good time with my friends. But they don't see all that I want to work on, all that I want to be. And that's, like, what it was for me. I didn't have anybody who cared or wanted to. And it's something I haven't thought about in a long time because I haven't had a reason to ever since she came along. But it, she really saved me from that, you know? Like, I was just thinking about it earlier and I was like, and I told her, I did it to her. I said, I'm so lucky to have you. Cause I was just thinking like, I used to be so lonely before you came along. It was the one thing in my life that I wasn't happy with and I couldn't control. Like by myself, like it's nothing I could work out on my own. Um, and it's like, it just feels like a blessing. You know, it feels like it's just been given to me by God, you know? And I'm really grateful for it. Again, it's the one thing I did do not and did not have the power to control. You know, whether someone cares about me. 
<clears throat> or even wants to talk to me, you know? Can't control other people. This makes me really happy. And it's a shame because, and I feel bad sometimes, and I've told her this before, of course I don't ever think she's gonna be like, oh, fine, I'll leave. And she, you know, she knows I'm not happy, but happy about, you know, what I'm gonna say. I just feel bad when I think of the fact that I'm the person she wants to spend most of her time with because you know, there's been a ton of times where I have to put her aside and I'm like, I have to do things. You know, and that's reasonable and it's what needs to be done. You know, I'm not saying I shouldn't do it in that way. But I know so many losers. Have known so many losers. And yeah, still know some losers. Who do nothing all day. You can find someone like him that, or them, that would um, make her happy and she'd be able to spend more time with. And they wouldn't have all these internal conflicts, like all those ones where I was like having debates in my head about whether um, me and her have a sound relationship when she's 100% happy with it. And I'm like confused, you know, me who never thinks he's good enough, you know, I know she, she could easily just find a loser like that, which is why I don't regret doing all that I do. Cause I know I'm, I refuse to be a loser. Even if I'm a loser to some people now, I won't be. I'll be so great to the point where nobody, there'll be no room for anybody to think that. At least that's where I plan to go. You know, I feel bad and she's like, well, I got you first. And I like you and I want to stay. And it just makes me really happy. It's annoying. I'm always like, you're annoying. Because I just love her so much. Like, she has such a control. But I like that she does and I like that she wants to have it the most comforting thing to me is she just seems so genuine in the fact that she does not want to leave my side it's just like the greatest feeling to me I'm so lucky to have it so that's about it no question today because I don't feel like thinking one I'm gonna throw some out. I've just been like finding these cards and I know it's like kind of bad to throw cards but you know I've never really had like any great attachment to them you know so like I don't really mind throwing them away but you know I'll have a log of it here you know here's what it says it says son you're a guy who's clear on what really matters in life this is from my dad yeah, I love my dad and all but I feel like I think that this card bothered me because I don't think my dad knows me like he's just he's over sometimes like I don't live with him like he doesn't know me so for him to like give me a card that says that kind of just bothers me he, he might think he does you know and if he thinks he does that's different but you know from the way I've presented myself in the past you know like the person I used to be I wouldn't be proud of that kid 
it shows in how you take care of the people you love and how you treat everyone. Um, <clears throat> shows in where you put your energy and how you choose to spend your time. Shows whenever your generous nature shines through, which is pretty much daily. It shows in all you do and who you are. Good man and a wonderful son. Happy birthday. Love you, buddy. Happy birthday. I just know he didn't see that in, in me. He could now. This is from like a year or two ago, probably. Probably like two years ago. Even if it was like this year. Well, like 2023. My birthday hasn't happened in 2024 yet. I know he never saw it. Well, he might hear stuff from my grandma who sees some of it. But he's never seen that of me. And, you know, I just remember it. I don't know, it was just, I love my dad, but you know. We're gonna head out, peace.